tell you how I was rigged in the last video and how I'll be rigged tomorrow when I go back out on the water. As you saw in the last video, I pushed minnows out of the front of the boat, which is something I don't typically do. And I, want, I never really do a good job on the water of showing you how I go about rigging. But anyway, I start with a three-quarter ounce trolling sinker, and you don't have to have a trolling sinker, but any kind of sinker and uh, swivel setup that you've got. And the reason I use three-quarters of an ounce is because I'm going to be long lining at the same time somewhere between 0 0.8 and 1 mile an hour, so this helps keep the, uh, the spider rig rods down. On the small end of this trolling sinker, I'm going to have 10-pound test, and that goes back to the reel. On this end, I'm going to have 6-pound test, crappy max, and that goes to the jig. And the way I tie that is I start out uh, with a loop in one end, in the end that's going to go on the sinker, and I just take that loop, cross it over, just like that, if you can see that, just like that. Then I'm going to go through it a couple of times, and then I'm going to cinch it down. Now the reason I do it that way is because I have a bunch of these tied up in advance, so when, when one breaks off, I don't have to retie everything. I can just take the loop and run it through the end by the hook, and I'm ready to go. So when I cinch it down, it's like a loop knot almost. And I've got a loop in one end. And I'll clip the tag end off. And then I run that through the large end of the sinker. Small end up, large end down, with the trolling sinker if that's what you go with. And I'm just going to run that loop through there. then the end of the line where I'm going to tie my jig on back through that loop. Like I say, I keep some of these tied up in advance, so all I've got to do if I break off is put on a new leader. On the other end, the end we're going to put the minnow on, got a couple of choices, and I know a lot of you folks are better at pushing than I am. I'm going, to, I'm going to be using a 132nd jig with just a minnow on it. You probably do just as well with a number two Aberdeen hook with a minnow on it. I've done it both ways. I've caught fish both ways. But tomorrow I'll be using the jig. We'll be tying a loop knot on this end. So you just run the end of the line through the eye of the hook, come back around, give yourself a little bit of slack where you can make a couple of loops. So that's the first step. Then run, just cross over, just like we did the loop just on the other end, and run this hook through about two times. And then I cinch it down to about a half an inch or so. And that's what you got. And I clip the end off. So this is my trolling rig right here. We've got a three-quarter ounce sinker tied to a 132nd ounce round head jig. And the leader line there is about 20 inches, 24 inches, something like that. Now on the other rods, on the pulling rods, I've been using, since the fish have been in the timber, I've been using light wire hooks. But as I break off now, or change out, I'm going to go back to the uh, Eagle Claw number two hooks. They're stiffer, and since the fish are going to be moving off the timber, I don't have to worry as much about hang-ups. And I'll fish with those all the way through the spring up into early summer until the fish go back on the uh, timber. But on the bottom, I tie a... One thirty on this rig, a one thirty second ounce jig with a loop knot like I did on the uh, minnow rig, and then about two feet or so above it, 
I tie, I've got tied a 3 32nd ounce with a loop knot that's about three or four inches. So what we run, what I run, when I run doubles, that's on top. This one's on the bottom, about two feet apart. And as I said, these are light wire hooks. They work real good if you're fishing heavy timber. But we're going to go to the, uh, as I change out this fall, we're going to go to the number two eagle claw hook. As it's a little stiffer and it'll hold up a little, little better the more, uh, the more use it gets. It's going to hold up. When you start catching them big fish, and if you bend this hook, this light wire hook, a few times, it's a tendency to straighten out on you and cause you can cause you to lose a fish. So that's the way I'll be rigged tomorrow. I'm gonna to be fishing eight rods out of the back. Uh, I'm gonna be pushing six rods out of the front. Four of those rods will be 12 footers. Two of them will be 16 footers. I've got. I, I really wish I had all 16 footers because I like to get them out away from the boat. But I've got uh, some 16-footers ordered, and they won't be shipped till sometime in December. So I'm going to add four more 16-footers for pushing jigs. And then I'll stick with the two 16s, two 12s, and the four 8s when I'm long line. So we're going to go tomorrow, and we'll see how all of this works. But that's the way I'll be rigged.